हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय न्यू चैनल बायोलॉजी वर्ल्ड सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ लेक्चर फ्रॉम क्लास 11th कॉल सेल द यूनिट ऑफ लाइफ इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू कवर द कोर्सेस व्हाट इज सेल सेल थ्योरी an overview of cell prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell cell organs which are found in eukaryotic cell so in this chapter we are going to cover these topics what is cell cell theory we will look an overview of cell then we will study in detail about prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell and the cell organelles specialized structure which are found in eukaryotic cell so let us first start with what is cell so when you see around a large number of biodiversity can be found we found both living things as well as non living things a question arises in our mind what is the difference between living thing and non living thing or we can say what is that inanimate thing which a living thing has and a non living thing does not has the answer to this very simple and basic question is the presence of cell in all the living organism so we say that the cells are present in living organisms and cells are absent in non living organisms now let us move toward what is cell so best and accurate definition of cell is we define cell as a structural and functional unit of life structural in the sense because it has certain structure and functional in the sense because it performs a certain function let me write the definition we say that cell is defined as the structural and functional unit of life let me highlight the term structure and function so every cell has its own structure it could be sphere it could be cube like it could be cuboid like it could be columnar or pillar like cell can be of ribbon shape it could be of thread shape it could be of any shape so cell have certain structure and it perform a specific function in our body the organs which are formed by the unitization of tissues which form due to unit of cells so what i mean is cell unite to form tissue and tissue unite to form the organs and the organ perform a certain special uh, specialized function in our body so we say that cell is a structural and functional unit of our life and it is the most important unit of our life now a cell can be of two type on the basis of number it could be 
unicellular it could be multicellular as a term say uni means a single and as a term say multi means many so cell can be of two type a single cell and a group of cells like an organ it has many cells so these are two basic categories of cell now let us talk something about unicellular cell a uh, certain certain important things about unicellular cell as we know that unicellular cell consists of a single cell now this single cell perform all the essential function of its life so i say that a single cell it perform all essential function of life it has independent existence since it is a single cell it has to perform all the essential function of its life by itself so a single cell does perform all the essential function of life by itself and through this we can say that it has independent existence because it does not depend on any other cell it perform all the essential function by itself does a single cell has independent existence through this we can confirm that anything less than complete structure of a single cell does not ensure a independent existence that means that anything less than the structure of a single cell will not show independent existence or it will not have any independent existence to have independent existence you must be a single cell so from this we can conclude that anything less than a single cell does not ensure independent existence now let us know more about cell in the sense when was a cell discovered who discovered the cell so first in 16 65 a scientist named robert hook discovered cell now to be more accurate it was not a cell which was discovered by robert hook which was later realized by the scientist what robert hook saw under the microscope was the cell wall a dead cell wall of a plant cell named cork cell wall of plant cell and the name of that plant cell is cork which we will learn later in the anatomy of plants so cork is a cell in plant and what robert hook observed is the cell wall dead cell wall of its cell and not accurately the cell so first time very accurately the cell was discovered by a scientist named anton von leeuwenhoek
So scientists named Anton von Winghoff first discovered a live cell under the microscope. And uh, that live cell which he saw under the microscope was taken from uh, fresh water. What I need to say is he collected a sample of fresh water through which he got a live cell and he absorbed observed that life cell under the microscope. Now we've missed a specific point. According to Robert Hooke, who discovered this cell wall uh, in his earlier situation, he also said that Robert Hooke, he claimed that the cells which the cells any cell it is very small it is very small like a small room like a small room which in its language called as cellular and through this the term cell is discovered so the term cell is also discovered by Robert Hooke what I mean to say is Robert Hooke, based on his study, uh, studies and observation under microscope, he claimed that a cell, it's a very small room-like structure or cellula. Cellula is a German word or a, a Latin word which means a small room and through this the term cell is discovered. Later, a live cell was discovered by Anton von Leeuwenhoek. So this ends the topic what is cell. Now let us proceed toward the cell theory. So two scientists play a major role in giving the cell theory. That is Matthias Skeleton, who was a German botanist, and uh, Deirdre Spawn, who was a British zoologist. They two have performed their studies and give the cell theory. So in 1838, scientists named Matthias Scanidan, who was a German botanist, he claimed that all plants are composed of cells and these cells unite to form tissues and then thereafter they form organs such as vascular bundle. Same year, a uh, little same that year, in 18. 39. Deodre Squan, who was a British zoologist, he also claimed that all animals they are composed of cells. But the nature of plant and animal cell is different. The scientist Deirdre Spawn, he also has certain interest in botanical world in the plant field. So based on his studies on about the plant cell, he claimed that the presence of cell wall is a unique feature of plant and the cell wall is absent in animal. And he formed in animal cell a thin outer layer. Today this layer is known as plasma membrane. So. Finally, after the conclusions and uh, their studies, their theories, their observation, Deirdre Spawn proposed a hypothesis which gave the shape to cell theory. And according to this hypothesis, he says that all plants 
and animal are composed of cell so the basic credit for the cell theory is given to these two scientists called Matthias Schelden and the other Spohn and this was their cell theory that all plant and animal are composed of cells and we can say and product of cells but the two scientists they did not explain how new cells are formed it was another scientist called Rudolf Virchow who in 1855 explained how new cells are formed So in 1855 Rudolf Virchow Rudolf Virchow is a scientist who says in his language Omnis cellular e cellular what this sentence means is new cells are formed from pre-existing cells hence proving how new cells are formed so new cells are formed from pre-existing cell later he also advanced and changed the cell theory which was given by skeleton and spawn and give it a final shape and today finally the cell theory is known by two points that all the living organisms are composed of cells and product of cells and not only plant and animal and new cells are formed from the existing cell so Rudolf Virchow also play a great role in uh, giving a final and more accurate and advanced cell theory so in the presence of these three scientists this cell theory was explained so let me write the final words which I said. So today, this cell theory is known by two points. First one is that. The first point is all living organisms are composed of cell and product of cell and second point is that The new cells are formed from pre-existing cell through methods of cell division. So through this we end our cell theory and uh, this was our end of our lecture. Now, in the next lecture, we are going to discuss about an overview of cell and thereafter we are going to start about prokaryotic cell and going to study in detail about prokaryotic cell. Thank you.